very interesting. This is a picture of an apple. Okay, then we will write we bought apple, and this is a picture of banana. Then we will write banana, and this is the picture of one of my favorite watermelon. Watermelon is very good in the summer. All right, so we will write here watermelon, and this is of orange. Okay, full of vitamin C. That is also very uh, beneficial for your immunity and health. We will write here orange and grapes. Oh wow! So we will have all together. We bought apples. Bananas, watermelons, oranges, grapes. All right. So in the next line, after that, we went to what is it? Vegetables. Okay. This is uh, uh, this. So many vegetables are here. So we'll write here vegetables stall. Okay. After that, then mom bought what is this? Uh, finger, lady finger. Okay, this is called the lady finger, and uh, and this is called tomato. This is a picture of tomato. So we you will write mom bought lady finger tomato, and this picture is of uh, garlic. I think garlic, or I think this is of potato. Okay. All right. You tell me which picture is this. All right. In the comment sections, or you can uh, WhatsApp me also. All right. If you do not have my WhatsApp number, you can contact your class in charge, and you can tell me and discuss that what is it. And then we have a carrot, and this uh, we have at last. Cucumber for salad. All right. Okay. So in the next line. Okay. Let's see all together. Uh, it starts from here. After that, we uh, went to vegetable stall. Mom got lady finger, tomato, potato, carrot, and. Cucumber. All right. Next. So here, next we, we next we bought many kinds of snacks. As this is biscuits. Okay. And this is what one of uh, everyone's favorite ice cream. And here we have a uh, uh, jam. And this is. Honey, okay, the sweet honey, and then we also bought. This is, I think, rice and cheese. All right, and here we have the bottle of milk. So we like here milk, and here we have uh, this one is butter with a knife, or it is bread. All right, children. Again, you can tell me what is that? Bread or butter? Okay. It looks like to me bread. I think. Okay. You you will be helping me. And before we went to home. Okay, children. So all together, this is this sentence. How will uh, fill this all these blanks? Let's read it out. Next, we bought many kinds of snacks as. Biscuits, ice cream, jam, honey. Okay, and then we also bought rice and cheese. All right, and this is the bottle of milk and bread. Okay, before we went to home. So you saw now. You see, see every uh, picture 
to me so that we, I can check it, I can cross check it and let you know that you have done uh, correctly or not. Alright, so children let's move on to the last slide that is a little bit uh, also tricky. In the next slide we'll go. Let's go. Alright, so this slide says choose me. So on the fourth page of your page number is actually eight but the worksheet is four according to uh, the workbook that is choose me. So in this we have these boxes one, two, three, four and uh, total they are 16 boxes okay you can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 boxes. Now, what we need to do, children, we have a fill up here, a sentence with a blank, and we have four options, okay? We can say this, this is MCQs or like multiple choice questions. So, we need to do what? We need to choose one word which is suitable for this plan. Let's look into it. Alright, let's go. So, and the blank, the first one starts with do you live? So, we have the option who, when, where, how long. So, I believe where is best fitted for this line. So, let's Make the sentence with the help of where. Where do you live? You can also see in your uh, book, okay? The fourth word book or worksheet. That is, uh, where do you live? Alright, and let's come to the second one. Let's read out the blank. Have you lived there? Okay, let's see the options. Why? When, where, how long, okay? From my point of view, I think, how long have you lived there, okay? Maybe somebody can ask you uh, uh, on phone nowadays because online or uh, the communication is through phone nowadays. So let's say somebody calls uh, you uh, through the office of bank okay they want to give you some gift so they want to ask you where do you live okay that is the first one where do you live you tell i live in ludhiana punjab north india all right then they can ask you how long you are living there okay or how long have you lived there so from how many years you are living in Ludhiana. If you are new you can tell uh, two years, one year, six months but if you are living uh, for a long time, I mean uh, let's say for 10 years or 20 years or uh, you cannot, I mean to say maybe your parents are living there so your house is before uh, your parents, parents were there so what my point okay you can say uh, uh, we are living here uh, since 20 years all right so let's see like this you can tell let's see this third one uh, dash do you live with oh wow who when where how long so the best fitted word is whom do you live with? Now we are asking you, whom do you live with? You can tell, I live with my parents, with my brother and with my sister, with my grandparents. Alright? So like this you can tell. So the sentence is, whom do you live with? So best fitted word is, whom, the first option. Okay? Whom do you live with? With. All right. So, like this, we have the fourth one. Let's see the fourth one also. 
Uh, here we have people are there in your family. Okay. Uh, it is actually very easy though. But let's see the options. How much? No. How many? Uh, yes, it can be. How long? No. Which? No. So we have the best fitted word here or the phrase how many. So let's see how sentence comes up. How 